so George, maybe open up with the next book. Uh, we're doing the Authority, mm -hmm. which was okay. uh, Brian Hitch is the artist, and I'm sorry, the Warren artist? Ellis. Warren Ellis. Warren Ellis is as the writer, and and Hitch, wonderful artwork. These these two worked together for quite some time afterwards, and they both went on to do more after this. But when this book first came out, it was. I mean, how many books have done what this book's done since, as far as just comic books go? Like, I don't the know. Authority, the Authority yeah, really is something that if you've not read it, you probably already have read it, in the sense that what they did in this book was so amazing, revolutionary. They had some, some not just themes about politics and, and, and even horrific violence. Like, if you thought Watchmen did something with punching a guy in the face, I mean, this book <laughs> went, like... All out. Kicking All someone right. in the knee. Oh, so yeah. it's like Watchmen right. meets like knee Animal like, Farm. My knee hurts. <laughs> BJ. Awesome. Um, brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, yeah. 12, uh, 12 uh, books. 12 comics. Uh, the first eight I absolutely adored. Did you read all 12? I read all Did 12. You? Okay, all right. Okay, well, and you the can last jump, and you one, it was a bit much. Yeah. But you can jump <laughs> no, into it, right? Ahead. You were able to just jump oh, into no, it. Oh, no, it was, read, it was right? amazing. Like, it was amazing. Yeah. It, it, it was absolutely one of the best comics that I've ever read. What specifically did you like? Um, what I liked specifically was <laughs> the in-depth, the in-depth... Uh... Go ahead. Uh, I love the characters. Mm -hmm. uh, Jenny Sparks. Yes. Jenny Sparks her commanding was great. bitchiness. Mm -hmm. um, I liked the, uh, the villains in the first two um, storylines. Story Thank you. <laughs> um, uh, it was, I just, I enjoyed it in the art. Uh, look, for anyone who's even remotely interested in comics, or in, sorry, I'll say superheroes. Or Bert and Ernie. Or Bert and Ernie. This, the, the, the authority, the authority is to superheroes what the Ramones is to popular music. It came out and nobody bought it, but everyone that read it ended up cr imitating it. And so from the authority, it led to... Uh, the Ultimates, which oh, led to yeah, everything the else. They did stuff like that in Justice everything, League. Everything is imitating and it now. The Authority got rid of thought balloons, it got rid of captions, it got rid of sound effects, and it created this new language of uh, superhero comics that everybody's imitating, this widescreen spectacle that everyone's imitating. The types of characters they are, the language that they use, the way that they talk, is, it is, it's the template for, to me, everything that's come after. And to top it off, it's like what NWA is to hip-hop. Because everybody that worked on this comic mm. has gone on to become a superstar in their own right. Who's NWA? So <laughs> Want to fill me in? Or National no? Wrestling Association. Uh, no, I, no. Thought, I thought it was in no. these comics. Brian Hitch. Brian Hitch went on to do with attitude. But <laughs> no, no. Okay. Uh, Brian Hitch went on to do Ultimates. Mark Miller, who was the later writer, went on to do Ultimate X Men and Ultimates and Civil War. But this and everything is the stuff else. you were complaining about when we've talked before in episodes about like I don't want to see superheroes just going through violence and tragedy anymore, and this is where it started, right? Like, this is where you really saw somebody going, like, I don't want to deal with a dictator from the Middle East anymore. I want to just, like, kill him and, like, da da da. And you've talked hey, about that hey, sort of hey, thing. I don't like that. You're saying. Saying. No, no, no. The that, that it's been done and oh, done and done easy. and done to death. But this is where it started. It started, yes. Because it is a great story. Like, Watchmen. It's this sort of, you know, I mean, there's something you could enjoy, right? Like, well, in they a explain film that in a thing. The, the engineer said, at one point, she said, I don't want to hurt people. And the one gentleman said to him, well, you have to do this. You have to. You have to sometimes just kill the bad guy, and then yeah. she just slaughtered a few people. Ouch! It's, well, it's, there's some I, lot I, of slaughtering. And, and I know it's and I know what's going on, and I can understand this whole pioneer thing. Why are you looking at me like that? No, I'm not. I'm not. If I can sum it up really quick, there's good guys. There's bad guys. Ooh. If you <laughs> like that, you'll love this comic. No, you won't. That's under silly. no under Damn it. selling this thing. This thing Damn is it. awesome. Mm -hmm. it, it's it, it's everything Robert is saying. It is. It's just great characters you've never seen before. A character who's adapted to be sensitive to everything a city feels. He's got bare mm -hmm. feet that have like these grips on them because he can walk on buildings and smell what the, the city smells and feel what the city feels. And and a faulted the, character as well. Yeah, right? they're all like, the, these oh, are yeah. original characters. This is it. This is ground zero for the modern era. I think the authority. Pick so, it up. So are you recommending it? Absolutely recommending it. You, if you're a superhero fan, you absolutely have to read George, this comic. It was one of the only times in any popular culture where I saw uh, characters um, that were were gay or homosexual or lesbian or whatever that were in a story, but it wasn't a big deal. 
it was just part of life, and that that was amazing. What about like, I don't think, I I don't think you realize that Apollo and Midnight are. are <laughs> I, I recommend it. Thumbs up. Uh, okay, let's go to break. <laughs> we're going to come back. We're going to talk about one of the greatest comic book movies ever made. Daredevil. Daredevil. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Flying discs in Curmudgeon's Corner. So I heard you've been collecting comics. I bet you don't have complete runs of everything you're looking for. So what do you got, holes that need filling? Well, you don't just walk into the comic shop blind. You usually bring a checklist, don't you? You walk into the shop. Well, if you have a jarbled list of nonsense, how are you going to know who's who? You should subtitle your lists, such as I do. Such as Aqua Quest, The Brave and the Bold Project, Operation Cap. How about Blondie or Bust? And Super Boy, oh boy! These are subtitles for checklists that the curmudgeon has collected. So don't go walking in your local comic shop confused and dazed and not knowing what you're doing, digging through back issue bins and possibly buying multiple copies of something that you do not desire. See ya, suckers. a dime for Negro and a 90 cents for that old candy. 